crowd, I suppose, Paul Voughton, in the area of 16, 17,000. Yeah, typical uh, Newcastle crowd, Ray. Should be a great match, this. And so Baisari gets us going in Friday night football. And John Schuster comes out towards his own 22 line. Met in the first tackle of the night and pulled down by Ben Elias. Now we find uh, Newcastle rucking the ball out, waiting for the kick, and they'll be kicking from way down the ground tonight with no fears of getting distance. A gale behind them. Ball played by Glanville. McCormick comes out from dummy half. A question mark on the pass. Sargent picked up and driven back by Balmain. A good defence there from the Tigers. And we'll see Elias get out of marker very quickly, trying to nullify the kicking game of the night. The best way to nullify a good kicking game is to put pressure on the kicker. Hagen plays the ball. Swept away for Rodwell. And he is the boy that has really given Michael Hagen some more space and some more time to work in 1992, young Rodwell. They were very predictable when Michael Hagen was there on his own some. Jack takes it back towards halfway. And now the Tigers, since the kickoff time, get their first touch. And Newcastle are up inside the five, out in the three quarters. Ben Elias scampers across, faking a quick tap. But now calls David Basari across. Yeah, it was John Basari. Schuster. John Schuster, who never attempted to get back on side there. McCallum pinned him fairly early. And, uh, Oh, that kick's gone about. It's gone well, about have 40 metres backwards. The, have a look what the breeze has done to it. It's gone way backwards, some 10 metres. And the tap will be taken by Ben Elias. Robinson, his pass to Marcella is forward. A Callum right in line with it. The scrum to go down, a bad passage of play there for the Tigers. Ray, I mentioned the good form of the wingers scoring plenty of tries, but if you have a look, Newcastle also have the best defensive record of any first grade team in the Winfield Cup competition averaging something like 11 points against them a game and there's no, that's no coincidence that they're sitting so high up the table Paul Davis on Michael Hagen the ball has been stolen penalty goes to the Knights right on the halfway mark Jason Sinclair the offender well that's just a comedy of errors isn't it we've seen the kick the penalty kick go backwards a mistake made with a forward pass and then a penalty given very bad couple of minutes there for the Balmain side. Sideline comment from Steve Roach. Yes, Ray, just the young fella, uh, fellows, Sinclair and Davies, making a couple of mistakes early, and uh, that's been our problem nearly all year, making too many early mistakes. Big Sergeant taking it up and lofting a ball back over the top. Cleaned up by the, uh, the Newcastle Knights and Adrian Brunker. What a big night it was for him on Wednesday night. I guess he's still getting over the thrill of it all. Glanville. Put down midway, 22 halfway. Balmain's end of the paddock. The place they call the Coliseum. And, uh, it's Newcastle now taking play down very close to the, uh, the 22 line. Well, there's no value in that from David Boyd. In possession of the football, gets up and wants to push the marker away. And both the people contesting to play the ball are not supposed to come in contact with one another. Yeah, David Boyd is not the, base, the most disciplined player I've ever seen. And here again, he's given away a, a silly penalty. That's just ridiculous stuff from him. In possession on the third tackle, launching an attacking raid, and he's given the ball back to them. Baysari learning off his first kick. Opting to keep it just a touch lower. Robinson tries to duck through the tackle of David Boyd and Mark Sargent. The big men combined to put him down. As Balmain now start to launch themselves back towards halfway. And that's uh, Steve Edmund about to play it. To the left they go for the, uh, the wide-running Paul Sirenen. Siro pulled down. Young Rodwood was the man doing the job. Through John Elias, a bad pass. That's put David Baysari immediately under pressure. So it's been a very poor start, really, by both sides. Davis, he'll play the ball on the last. Baysari folding into first receiver, and he puts it straight down the throat of Brad Gotten. One of the good young players in the Newcastle side. Well, not a good kick there from Balmain. And one option they may take running into such a strong wind is to run the football on the last. Take as many yards as they can. Then somebody gets to boot the ball late. But they might try and run as many yards before actually kicking the football. This is uh, Mullane. 32 metres out from his own line. McCormick trying to scamper away. 
It'll be a good contest tonight between McCormick and Elias. Penalty goes to the Knights. And that's against the Balmain players for holding down in the play the ball. Yeah, this time it goes against Balmain. And Paul Sheridan, you see there, all over the Newcastle player, trying to get up and play quickly, which is what all coaches want. And Sheridan just held him down a fraction too long. A kick finding the line right on the halfway mark. Gordon running as a decoy sergeant, takes it up the centre. Balmain equal to the task in defence. This is Jamie Ainsco, joined the Knights from Western Suburbs this year. Good young player, 21 years of age. So it goes across through two sets of hands for Glanville. And he's reached that 32 metre line, the sound of the whistle, another penalty. McCallum having nothing to do with players lying over the man trying to play the ball. Well, you'd think they'd learned their lesson. Benny Elias going over and questioning the referee. I'm sure that he's going back now just to drum it into the teammates that they have to let the player up quickly, let them play the ball. Let's go down to Steve Roach. Yeah, Ray, that's pretty good tactics if you don't get penalised for it. I think Balmain want to slow the game up as much as they can in the first half, running into this win. John Schuster lining it up, win coming up from behind him. Looks to be increasing in velocity, looking at these flags on the far side of the ground. Do you think it'd be a good chance of putting this one dead, Ray? Had a few drops of rain earlier on, but that has gone away. It's just that only really touches it. He doesn't give it much weight at all, but it was perfect for direction. And so Newcastle get first points. They lead by two points to nil. Boyd. Now they've got a big back line, Newcastle, and it's deep. Schuster. Yeah, they're coming up against a very ordinary five metres there. Now the decoys go right. The play comes left. McCormick tries to scurry through. They come the blind again this time and uh, trying to bump his way through a sergeant. A big game here tonight and he could force his way into State of Origin 3. Rudwell, a short ball away now from the lane. Formerly was a hooker with the Newcastle side and here's a penalty and he's in the sin bed. It's McVeigh who's been sent for 10 to the bin for stealing the ball. The kick is a presentation for Newcastle. Yes, well, Greg McCallum's had enough. Too many indiscretions in the play the ball area. McVeigh just rips it clean out. And he, oh, he's put his hands on his head and so he should. He's got 10 minutes. He can go and cool off in there. But he's, what's happened is he's let Newcastle get another gift two points here. And that's just not, not good enough. Steve Roach. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen anyone sent to the sin bin for a discretion in a, in a ruck. You're not happy, Steve? No, not really, mate. No, we'd <laughs> like the 13 players on the field. But, we'll uh, say what you think. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Schuster, he gets the two points, much to the displeasure of Blocker Roach, and Newcastle leads Balmain by four points to nil, 13th minute of the game. So here's Balmain now on the attack towards the centre of the park. 15 metres out. Ben Elias, that's one go, tries to do it himself. Pulled down, nine metres out from the line. Balmain, they're at the centre of the ground. Good place to attack from. Sirenen, Sirenen standing and getting it back for Robinson. Robinson pulled down. They lost some ground there. They're 13 metres out from the line. As they launch this attacking raid, they're about four or five metres out. Played by Will Robinson. Now Davis, Davis tries to do it himself. Is he going to do it? Yes! Yes, he's done it! Paul Davis has gone over. Tremendous individual effort by this youngster. youngster. Only 21, he's there. Filling in, I suppose, while Brian Smith is out injured. But he's gone all the way for his coach, Jones, and also for the Balmain supporters, and levels it up at four points all. Yes, and I stopped the night for long plays and cut out passes a bit of individual skill there by davis he did very well he beat three of them and the first try to belmay and the newcastle team up very quickly in defense here and paul marquette was the man caught out went up davis able to step back inside him with some good footwork classy piece of play by the pivot well there he is he came down to sydney after he captained melville high in the commonwealth bank cup back in 1987 he took them to the semi-finals then and a couple of the talent scouts spotted him playing in that level of football. 
And it was Balmain that picked up this uh, young man, Paul Davis. And ironically, the man that's going to convert his try played against him in that same series back in 1987. 13 goals for the season for David Baser. Chance here to send Balmain to the lead. And, oh, geez, missed it. Oh, they may come to rue that. Look at him. To the heavens he looks. Four points all, Friday night football, wide world of sports. Balmain comes up with the ball, six tackles, and the jack is brought down on the first of them, 25 metres. John Elias folding around, keeping up this wrap towards the right. Good bumping run by John Elias, they're valuable metres. Now they're 18 metres out, right in the centre of the ground. That's what they've been working for. Baysari for Davis, Davis for Sinclair, crashes on his outside, the kid does it himself, oh, how good is he, how good is this kid, Sinclair, he's put it down, same as Davis, one handed, fending off with the other, well, tremendous piece of work. The Newcastle sliding defence here, they, but you've got to take a man, they slide out, the wingers inside, Gordon just did nothing. A pretty ordinary attempt at tackle there by Ainsco. And Sinclair just strolls yeah, over. Right, an right, easy, right, easy right. try. Well, he's got a classic build for a centre, hasn't he, Sinclair? He showed the ball in two hands. That's important. And a good show of strength here. Ainsco, well, he was he just wasn't strong enough. And that's that's a super piece of play from the kid. Certainly looks the goods, doesn't he? I'm really not wrapped in that sort of sliding defence, Peter. You can see the Newcastle team there with the, uh, the outside men hanging back. They just gave Balmain too much room to move. If their men, like normal, come up and take man on man and come up and in, there's nowhere to go. That's right, especially on your own, down on your own try line. It's got to be an up and in defence. One thing, one thing I want to say about Jason Sinclair, Steve Roach, is for a, a youngster, he plays with such confidence. Yeah, we were just saying before, Ray, earlier in the last couple of matches that we've seen Balmain, how, how good it is to see young players, uh, you know, show their talent. And uh, Jason Sinclair certainly is a talented player. Thanks, sir. Two metres in from touch. 21 out. Breeze against the flight path. Gee, he's done well. He's got it. Oh, that makes up for the simple one he missed. New Zealand International. Davis. I'm amazed at the confidence displayed by these youngsters in the side. You've got um, four 21-year-olds playing shoulder to shoulder. Robinson, Davis, Sinclair, Baysari. And Tim Brasher, I don't know that he's any older. So he's really got some youth down there at Leichhardt, Steve Roach. There's just a couple of fellows a touch older than 21, including yourself, of course. <laughs> I'm just a good Oh, hold on, Steve. I'll come back to you. Brasher looks for a hole, looks for support. Finds Robinson inside the 32, up to the corner. Jack, Jack gives him good support. He's pulled down 15 metres out. Good support play by the Tigers. Now they swing it. Elias, Sinclair, tries to step them, pull down on the quarterway line, five tackles gone. Elias again, goes for the drop goal, cheeky but good, yes! Well, Alan Langer can do it, so too can I, Ben Elias gets one point. We're down that end on the fifth tackle, why not take a point? Great kick there by Ben Elias, he read it well, good captaincy by him, but put that, that break down to Paul Surinan. Over the years gone by, we're used to seeing Ciro just pop those balls like he did then. And on that occasion, the May 30 at 40 metres, great work by Ciro. And an enormous difference between six points in front and seven points in front. Very well thought out there now. Seven, they must score twice the Newcastle side. So certainly a, a very smart ploy down there. And again, totally unexpected by the Newcastle team as they find touch from the kickoff. Steve, we were talking about this uh, youthful Bal Balmain back line and, of course, a sprinkling of experience, as I said. Yes, Ray. Well, I, I noticed everyone last year was bagging the Balmain side, but the experience that these young fellows have gained last year for the Balmain Tigers is going to stand Balmain in good stead for the future years to come. Well, I got you there. How cold is it? Freezing. <laughs> you still want the job? Yes, please. Davis swings it from dummy half. Jack runs with the ball. Starting to sprinkle just a little bit down there as the big man puts his umbrella. It's a big umbrella, too. Played by Clint Robinson. They work the blind side. Edmed. 
Sirenen cut out. John Elias folds around the back and out to the 32 metre line. Just seven and a half minutes of this first half remaining. Tremendous half for Balmain after they settled down. Basari and Sinclair lay it on. Sinclair draws, then dummies, then gives it. It's forward. Well, he tried everything on the one blade of grass. Yeah, he just overplayed it there, but that was the running on the last tackle. And he's been hurt in the tackle, Timmy Brasher. It's been ruled forward. But the, new, the Newcastle player almost made his mind up for him going that quickly to David Basari. He had to pass the football. And this is the result. He's got Timmy Brasher in space outside, had to throw it. But there goes the pass forward there, ruled by the referee. And a player coming in very late, over the top. Yeah, and uh, we can hear someone on the sideline now. I don't know who it is, but someone's blowing up. It's not you, Block, is it? It certainly is, mate. I couldn't believe how late that was. <laughs> no doubt about it. Our sideline eye, he, he's throwing himself into his work. He's nearly got off his seat and gone in there. Sergeant, Rodwell, McCormack, Marquette, up to the halfway line. Settle, Steve, settle, McCormack. Well, Balmain are just out enthused. The Newcastle Knights, Newcastle came in as favourites. Everyone's picked for the game. Look at this. That's ordinary play. Not drawing anyone. And really, they're going nowhere, the Knights. The Balmain defence, too good and too tough. Played by Malay. Rodwell looking for the short ball. Oh, Marquette did not read it. It backfired. Elias comes away. Gets under the tackle of Kent, but he's wrapped up by Ashley Gordon and Mark Green. Five gone for Balmain now. Brasher, he's out. Oh, gee, that was a good tackle by Glanville. You could almost see... Brasher, his head jolted back and he's not very yeah, he... well, I don't know what Tim Brasher's blowing up about. No, well, he knocked his ball on in the tackle there somewhere. Ray, according to the referee, yeah, he's lost it there. Fair enough decision. Well, he was of the belief that he lost it and he lost it behind him. He wobbled. Mm. Half-back position. Kemp. Run around for Hagen. They fold from the left and Godden comes into the play. Gets over the halfway mark. Davis wraps him. Kemper's now to Acton. Hagen, Gordon, off his wing, getting involved on the right of the ground. Marquette. 11 points to four in favour of the Tigers. Good score for you footy tap people. Once you get that odd number in there, you can expect anything. Hagen. Rain starting to increase now. McCormack. Short ball away. Dancing his way up the ground, David Mullane. Five tackles gone. He's brought down on the Balmain 22. Half time is five minutes off. Hagen looking for runners. Finds Rodwell. Rodwell gives it back to Hagen. They have to kick and they do. Gordon! Gordon marks it on the full and scores! Well, where was he in relation to the kicker? That's the only question I've got. Let's not detract from the try. Hagen put it up in desperation. And four points has come out of nothing. Yes, Watch they, it here. They tried another one of their second phase plays, Newcastle, which didn't come off. Is he onside? We just can't see. I reckon he was. That's a dead set. Good try. Well done, Michael Hagen. Put the ball up. Anything can happen. This time, it's a Newcastle try. Hagen had skewed off the inside of his boot. The Balmain defence was short on that side. Rasher right in there from his wing. And Gordon, well, they're back into it, Newcastle. They probably don't deserve to be. Balmain have been the better side in the half. But they used that win to their advantage on that occasion. Just putting the ball up in the air. And they're back in the hunt. Seven tries for the year. For Ashley Gordon. Gee, can he finish them off? Well, that has come out of nothing, really. Bal um, Balmain were trying to shut the, the play down. Newcastle knew they had to get it on the boot. Rodwell was given the opportunity. He had to pass it back to Hagen. And Michael has put it up and just said, well, here's a wing and a prayer. And Gordon flashes in through top. Schuster now, hooking it nicely, that's coming around beautifully. Newcastle gets a converted try. Now, that makes it more desirable. 
11 points to 10 in favour of the Tigers over the Knights. 36 minute first half. Friday night football. I still don't think David Waite, the Newcastle coach, will be happy with his side's performance. They just haven't played the way that I think he would have liked them to. And you really, this not taking the yards up the middle where they are. And the backs haven't had the ball all match. They've got some fine backs out there in Ainsco and Schuster. Just not using them. That's how he's kick off. Fielded there by John Schuster. Marquette is cut down by Michelle. Newcastle rucking it out towards their quarter through Tony Kemp now. Bill Robinson has had a sparkling first half, making back-to-back -back tackles. The second one he didn't wrap up completely. Rodwell is pulled down with no gain in ground for the Knights. And again, Paul Marquette comes in and takes it out for the second time on this set of six. McCormack, Brunker. Five tackles gone. Sweep back for Rodwell. They take the option through the hands. This is Mullane. And that's a turnover. Jack. Well, Newcastle were well inside the fire there. Yeah, and McCallum just looked straight at them, didn't give a penalty. There was four or five of them right in front of him, and he just didn't ping them. He's got to be consistent in this area. He's pinged Balmain on, what, three or four occasions? We're inside the five metres. He's got to be consistent, Greg McCallum. Well, the same three players have not been back five on the last three play the balls, and uh, they've been allowed to get away with it. Baysari. Half time. Only a matter of seconds away. Tim Brasher goes for a scamper. And uh, his uh, progress is put down there on the 32 metre line. Ben Elias sweeping it back to the centre for Sirenen. Back to Brasher, staying alive after playing the ball. Put down just outside the 22, five gone. They know how close it is to half time. And uh, this man, uh, Robinson, grubbing ahead, waiting it into the end goal. Godden and Brunker go back. Two of the youngsters, Elias chases them down the ground. So does Robinson. And that's a good piece of play by Balmain. They won't get the desirable six tackles that they were working for back in possession. The siren will beat them. Newcastle will consume the last 10 seconds of time, even though it's their duty to out from underneath the uprights. They know the half time is with us. And we've had uh, a half of football that has had just about everything in rugby league and had some very bad discipline early on had uh, a lot of mistakes checkered the first 15 minutes with mistakes and then we've seen some brilliant play jason sinclair paul davis and then ashley gordon coming out and putting some icing on the cake of the first half with that uh, scintillating try just in front of half time so the players leave the field 11 10 in favor of the tigers over the knights and that rain continues to get heavier, Ray, and there's no doubt that is an advantage to Balmain. They have the wind, and it's going to be very difficult for Newcastle to get out of their own territory. The ball goes down, taken by Will Robinson. He picks up one of his forwards, taking it forward. So I'm sell it. And for Newcastle, Ray, Slam and Sammy Stewart's got to start here. Looks like at the expense of David Boyd, who is probably having a rest. All right. OK, let's go down to Steve Roach. He's been in the Balmain dressing room. Steve. Ray, Coach Alan Jones is very, very happy with his team. He tried to stipulate that the game goes for 80 minutes, not only 40. But the, the point that he made that, that he'd like Balmain to stick to is to just keep playing the style of football that you've been playing. Don't try and change your game. Just stick to what you've been doing and you should win. And he's very happy, I can assure you. Is Ashley Gordon taking the ball back, trying to milk a penalty. He was of the opinion that Balmain were inside the 10. And I tend to agree with him. As Godden strains his way down the ground, they're valuable metres, plays at 35 out. Tony Kemp running with the ball in one hand and taking it just inside the 32. And that's very valid advice from Alan Jones. We saw last week the game between Illawarra and Western Suburbs. It did appear as though Western Suburbs in the second half were waiting for the win to win the game for them. Balmain can't fall back on that. They can't believe they are going to win this game just because they have the wins at their back. Five tackles gone for Newcastle, played by Sargent. Uh, spread across to Rodwell. He puts it into the air. A test here for Balmain. They'll let it bounce. They do. Favourable bounce back for Newcastle. Gordon, well, that could be a penalty. It is. There's no doubt in my mind that it's a penalty and correctly ruled by referee Greg McCallum. Yeah, some inexperience there by 
the halfback in Rodwell. He shouldn't have gone for this ball. Gordon here knocks it forwards, although he did come off a, a Balmain player, but still went forward off the Newcastle player first. Maysari taking the line for 11-10 then in favour of Balmain as we get into the second half. Sunday we go to Adelaide Oval. We'll bring you the highlights of the match between St George and Brisbane. Promises to be a very good game of football. And Brisbane do it after having so many of their players in the Origin match on Wednesday night. Elias. Masella playing without the, uh, the aid of those bike shorts in the second half. And Paul Sirenen is put to ground by Robbie McCormick. Palmain getting into an attacking region as Masella he is grasped and put down. Malayne around the legs. And the Sam Stewart, as uh, Paul Gordon said, is in the match now. Sinclair put it down. He may have had a little bit of a look-see. Well, he didn't have a little one. He had a bopper. Saw four in front of him. Just dropped it to the ground. Had a little look there. A big one. And a turnover of possession. Well, it will be. As Rodwell services this scrum on his own 32. What's happened there is that Rodwell has been uh, marked up by his halfback uh, opposite number. Uh, Newcastle. They look down the ground. They're something like 65 metres from the line as uh, Hagen is put down. Midway between 22 and halfway. He's only into the ground. Rob McCormack comes away from Dummy Hart. This is Tony Kemp. Well, that was a magnificent play. The ball there from Robbie McCormack. Played it in one fluid motion. Certainly gave the Newcastle side time to get some momentum going, and he's done it again out of dummy half, finding touch 20 metres out from the opposition try line. Robbie McCormack was introduced to State of Origin, wasn't he, in uh, the first match in Sydney? But uh, I'm sure that the selectors will not lose sight of him because he's proven to be a very versatile footballer for Newcastle. He was a centre, he's played some half back, and now he's playing. Gary Jack, completing those minor grades, went to Newcastle, both of them, reserves by a big margin. And that's out on the fall. So Newcastle comes up with the ball in a very good attacking position. Well, can you believe that? The tactic was the right one. Second tackle, the fullback for Newcastle was up very flat. And it's gone straight off the side of the boot over the sideline. Steve Roach. Ray, I don't know about the tactics being the right one. He, he told them not to change anything they were doing. Now, the, that was on the second tackle. We tried to put that kick in and, and force a mistake. Rodwell to play. Newcastle, they've got a play worked out. Two runners around the pivot, which was Hagen. Gordon to play it. Centre of the ground. That's what they've worked for. Marquette. Oh, gee, that was a big tackle by Marcella. Marquette is very groggy. They're trying to pull him up to play the ball. Yeah, that's silly from Newcastle. The bloke's doing it hard to get up. Let him get up with his own accord. No need pulling him up like that. McCormack. Oh, McCormack. 12 metres out from the line. Kemp. Stewart. The combination of Kiwis with Shushed up. Eight metres out from the line. Five gone. Marquette receiving attention. Out to Rodwell. Waits it into the end goal. And uh, Clint Robinson it is. In fact, Tim Brasher. Who takes it over the dead ball line. Well, Balmain have come up with the football again in good field position. This is Masella. Newcastle with a replacement uh, getting ready to come on. And jumper number 26, Wayne Richards. Now it's away through Davis for Sinclair. Basari. Balmain for the first time in the second half prepared to spread the ball through the backs wide. Sinclair decides to have another shot at them and reaches the 32 metre line. And he's one player for Newcastle that's really improved his defence is John Schuster, the centre. I thought that New that Balmain may have aimed their attack at him, but they've gone to the air here. But well taken by Franklin. No, by, by Gordon, I'm sorry, the other winger. The Schuster's done a lot of work in defence. He's done it very well, and that was a weakness with him over the last season or two in the Sydney competition. Played by Gordon. And a power to head there by David Malone. Steve Roach. I'll tell you one thing that Newcastle do do better than any other team in the Premiership, and that's play the ball quick. Well, they're getting in some quick play the balls here tonight. And uh, as you say, it's a character of their play. 
Aiken. Five gone for the Knights. Rodwell's the man to kick. And that came off the rump of Jason Sinclair. Touched in flight. McCormack gets it away for Michael Hagen. Six more tackles, says referee Greg McCallum, quite and rightly. And the big numbers to the left. McCormack has gone out and Rodwell's through. Rodwell, 20 metres out from the line. It's still on to the blind side. That's the way they've gone. Glanville finds Boyd 10 metres out from the line. Now they'll come back to the right, probably. Glanville, driven into the ground by Davis. The Knights, fan to the right. Rodwell, picking up Richards, the replacement just on. Five gone, centre of the ground. They come right for Rodwell. Back it goes for Hagen. Now it's with Brunker. Brunker can't get away from Clint Robinson. Did he pass from the ground? Well, that's got to be a penalty. I know it's the last tackle. It would be a change, but he did pass from the ground there, and it should have been a penalty. John yeah, a, great, a great tackle by Robinson to save the day there. Beautiful ankle. So you get your penalty. It's got to be a penalty. Straight up and down penalty, no doubt about it. The ball, the arm carrying the ball, touched the ground, and the player was held at the same time. It's a penalty, a right passing from the ground. John Elias has been replaced with Balmain. Matt Munro, again a former Parramatta player, has gone on. But Elias has got one out of dummy half and caught one from the marker. Gordon. Oh, well, he's lost the ball. That's the mistake that Balmain are looking for. It's gone straight back into the hands of one of the Balmain chasers. And that'll be a penalty to Balmain also, striking in the play of the ball. And the sin, I was about to say to you, Peter, it could drag the sin bin for Tony Kemp, striking prematurely. That's the penalty. But he's also ruled a professional foul on the Kiwi International. And Kemp has been sent to the bin for 10 minutes. Yeah, very good piece of play there. There's the kick there. Just one aspect of Jason Sinclair's play I'd like to see out is the, the chatting he has with the opposition. After he'd won the penalty there, he had some words with Tony Kemp, and that's just not needed. Only one player should be talking, and that's the captain out there, and generally to his own players and the referee. David Basari then will take this uh, attempted penalty from the 32-metre line, and he's only just off-centre. 11 points to 10 in favour of his side at the moment. Incidentally, next weekend, Friday Night Football sees Eastern Suburbs play the Gold Coast Seagulls at the Sydney Football Stadium. And our match on the Sunday is Illawarra versus St George. That very good side from uh, the Illawarra on the television again, but Basari's kick is wide here at the Marathon Stadium tonight. Alan Jones's head goes down there. And it's 11-10 on Friday Night Football in favour of Balmain over Newcastle. Yeah, he's missed a few kicks by Sari. Paul Davis, the 5-8, is also a very good kicker. We may see him take over the goal-kicking duties. Rodwell's drop kick is a horror. And Balmain are going to come back with this football. No, they're not. Newcastle's won the race for the ball. Well, that's bad positional play by Balmain. They really were entitled to have the football. But Newcastle have come back with it, and Mullane has tackled. Just on his own side of the halfway. This is Boyd. Wrapped up and cooked to ground there. By Affleck. Sam Stewart. Ridden to the ground by Edmed on five. McCormack really coming into his own in the second half. Got the ball away to Richards. Now it's with Gordon. He stops and steps, and Gordon, Gordon supports him. Down to the 10 metre line, turnover. Well, some great attack there from Newcastle, but some equally good scrambling defence from the Balmain team. Gary Jack involved. The last pass went to Godden, but there was still cover coming across. Here we see great work done from McCormack. Got one around the back. Ashley Gordon tried to stand up Gary Jack. Got one hand to him. And there's the number three for Bal Balmain. David Basari making an important tackle. Edmund. Some good passenger play there by Newcastle. Isn't it amazing, you know, you... You make a mistake like they did, but they still were able to turn it into something very good. Ben Elias comes down the blind side, holds the pass as long as he can, and then, oh, gee, he's got to be put into touch. Well, that's not very good play, is it, by Balmain? Either of those two players, they're both experienced players, but to use that short blind side on a wet night such as tonight where the ground is greasy, there was just nothing doing down there. And he was never going to boot his man on the outside, was he, Robinson? Steve Roach. 
Yola didn't think the pass was on then, mate, but uh, Clint didn't have really any option to run, but uh, he couldn't have come inside then. Runker. Rodwell. Schuster. I wonder what went through the minds of fellows like John Schuster, Tony Kemp and company, Sam Stewart, with the admission of uh, Auckland to the 1995 Winfield Cup. I wonder how many of those players will, in fact, play for the team across the Tasman. It'll be interesting to see as it uh, starts to pan out over the next few years. Hagen. He's able to put more quality into his game this year, I get the impression. As McCormack kicks ahead, a race here for Will. He hasn't cleaned it up. Oh, close. How close, though. No, no try. Um, certainly didn't ground the ball with pressure. Good piece of refereeing by the same token. McCallum took time out to consult his in-goal judge. And the ball wasn't grounded by either player, really, but raked over that dead ball line. Well, it's been ruled by the Newcastle player in the end, and it's going to be a Balmain 22-metre tap. Well, that's how close he came, Pete. Gary Jack. We need to really ruck it out for a couple before booting it down the ground. Affleck. Second tackle on this set. Let's see how long they hold on to it. Masella. Oh, geez, a tough cookie. He doesn't mind uh, handing it out. And he doesn't uh, doesn't mind giving it. This is a penalty for Balmain. Stealing the ball will be the, the ruling. Or was it that he called held and they went on with the tackle? There didn't appear to be any stealing of the football. Well, I, I think that's a bit harsh. The, the tackle was still being completed. No use calling held when he's halfway up because he's still got to go down. He's lost that goal. Fifteen metres into Newcastle's area. Affleck runs the decoy. Oh, Edmund! A crunching tackle from David Boyd. Lyon sweeping it across the tent. Out she comes again. This time Newcastle has worked for the mistake and got Played by Boyd. McCormack. Brunker. Brunker tries to step and beat the opposition, but it's a penalty. Balmain are inside the five. Well, I was just about to say that Newcastle have been offside for plenty of rucks here, and McCallum was actually refereeing from the play the ball area. When Balmain have gone back in defence, he's gone back to five metres. That's a very tough call against Balmain because the other team was certainly guilty of the same offence moments earlier. And notice that Matt Munro has gone on in jumper number 40 for Balmain as Godden tries to scamper out from dummy half. He's wrapped up by Ben Elias. Well, this match now with 18 minutes remaining, still Balmain leading by one point, 11 to 10. And this is uh, Rodwell spearing it back for Hagen. He runs an arc around the back. Yeah, Balmain reading that play well now. They're just hanging off in defence and putting the pressure back on the Newcastle attack. There's no way through. This is Richards. Five tackles gone. What will they do? Rodwell plugging for the corner. Came off the feet of the, uh, the number six, Davis. Now it's with Basari. A bit all surprised if that is a deliberate ploy, kicking the ball into the opposition there. They had a little bit of luck with it early. That could have uh, bounced their way once again, and it's not a bad tactic, especially if it goes over the sideline. Or if, in fact, the, the player plays at the ball. Keep in mind that if he doesn't play at the ball, it doesn't nullify the tackle count. This is Surinam. We're right on the halfway mark. No marker for Paul Surinam. Good metres, 10 of them in all. Yeah, Will Robinson leaving the side for the Balmain players, and uh, John Mulder, who is a player who has gone on. Ben Elias dummy and then tries to go through the centre hoping the markers would split now sorry Paul Sirenen is injured he needs help Brasher coming through on Godden but the young fullback stands his ground and does well well done Bradley Godden Gordon comes away One, well done Balmain that's the tactic that Paul Borton pointed out that maybe Newcastle should have used putting the high kick up in the air, and it, it needed a very good take from the young ball back there. Fortunately for Newcastle, he was able to come up with one. Well, Paul Serenin's coming from the field. Steve Roach, he's walking straight towards you. Yeah, he looks a bit worried about his knee, actually, his left knee. I don't know whether it is, but John Elias has gone back on for Balmain. 
This is Michael Hagan trying to promote the football for Glanville. He does that. Touched by Balmain in flight. Not seen by the referee. Gordon goes down the ground. And into touch. Oh, great tackle. Great tackle if it's in the one motion. I think it is. It was six again. I don't know if the referee had seen it, but if this cover tackle is taking him over in the one motion, as the referee deemed Tim Brasher has, that is good tackling. Good defence. Balmain come up with the feed. But Mulver Hill at halfback, now it is. Davis, Jack, coming into his back line, looking to make... Uh, well, Sirenen's getting some feeling back into that knee. He's gone back to the bench, in fact, back to the dressing rooms. I think that might be it for Paul Sirenen tonight. 15 to go. Six more tackles for the Knights, and now this big crowd of 20,000. They get the penalty, Newcastle. Balmain inside the five. In the fair neat department. What's going on here? That's about... the. That's eight penalties to Newcastle. Five of them have been for inside the five metre zone. Well, they were a mile inside the five metres there. Sure they were. I do agree that he has missed plenty of Newcastle infringements in that area. No. Steve Roach, that must be a worry for Balmain, the amount of penalties against him, especially in the five. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly looks like the uh, the old home ground advantage, but Balmain were definitely inside the five yards that time. Now they work the blind side, a set play. McCormack for Boyd. Boyd put down on the 10 metre line. Second ball has crept onto the ground. That's been cleared. Boyd plays the ball across for Schuster. And now it's with Mullane. 18 metres from the line. McCormick's working overtime. Rodwell's carrying the football. Around the back for Hagen. He allowed... Oh, that pass is a mile forward from Michael Hagen. Newcastle just out tricking themselves here. All these beautiful cut-out plays they've got. What's wrong with this taking the ball forward and using the numbers that you've got well, rather is, than the cutout passes? It is the same cutout play all the time, but isn't it, Paul? The, with the second man coming across, and as you said earlier, Balmain reading it very well in defence. They're, they're forcing the man to make the play, and Hagen's done that by throwing the football over the sideline. Balmain, 14 minutes left on the board. Seven points to 10, they are in front. Always a tough assignment coming to the Coliseum at Newcastle. Jason Sinclair may have paid the penalty for making a couple of poor mistakes with the football. James Grant has gone on in the centres for the Balmain team, and he is a very experienced campaigner. I hear Ken Sutcliffe say in his opener that Balmain hadn't beaten Newcastle here. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that is right, and Elias, there are plenty of dummies there, but no one falling for them. No one truly wrapped up by three Newcastle forwards. This is the last for Balmain. They must kick. Elias taking his time. Richards has gone down on the kicker. Baysari uh, able to clear, though. Gordon comes back down the ground. He can strike from anywhere, Gordon. Big run. 32 out. Glenville. 13 minutes to go. Newcastle down by a point. And this is where Balmain need to keep discipline in their five metres and in the ruck area. A point in front. They don't want a kick, penalty kick in front of the, the posts. Hagen, Rodwell. Now Schuster beats the tackle of the player coming up quick in defence. Schuster kicks ahead. Broke the chase and so does Jack. Jack wins the race. Yeah, I thought that might have been the wrong option there. He had some space in front of him. Schuster with a man on the outside. Maybe he should have run. He put the kick in. It and, didn't come off. And not the last tackle. Newcastle really doing it hard to try and get through this Balmain defence. They're defending well, the Tigers. Ben Elias leading the way with 36 tackles. A great effort by him after last Wednesday night. Balmain now just rucking it out in their own quarter. Looking for the kick early. Hey, sorry. James Grant uh, is out there for Balmain. That's him with the football. Down the ground they go. Clint Robinson, speed to burn, beats the man with the kick. Now it's a race. Here's Gordon coming from nowhere. He misses the ball. Gordon cleans up. Well, all but a try. Ashley Gordon coming across that speed. The bounce eluded him. Luckily, Gordon, who didn't have enough pace to match it with the two other players, came through backing up. He stayed down hurt. But it did look like a Balmain try and would have been if the bounce had been favourable. Oh, exciting footy. Look at Gordon come in. The brakes have failed. Away he goes. Robertson, if he picks this up as a try, just knocked it on. And well saved by Gordon. So, a lead off there for Newcastle. 11 minutes to go in the match. Trailing by a point, but they were nearly trailing by more, weren't they? 
as we find uh, David Boyd rucking it out. Newcastle desperate to get down the other end of the park. They're probably even thinking about one point and pulling uh, a draw out of it. Kicked down the ground by Rodwell. Long run for Gary Jack. Well, Gary Jack has been criticised this season for not being quick enough to get across to those kicks. In fact, we saw him replaced very early in a game, but he's done a wonderful job tonight. He's been under a lot of pressure. They've kicked away from him, and he's cleaned everything up with the aplomb of an Australian fullback as he's been in the past. Mark Glanville leaving the field. And Mark, Athlete. Mark Sargent returns to the field. They need a big last 10 minutes from him. He's been a bit quiet in the match, not really effective. They do need some big, strong runs from him over that advantage line. The man who replaced was Mark Lynn. John Elias. Right on the halfway mark. No need for anything stupid from Balmain now. They realise that they're in the last 10 minutes. Did he play at the football is the question. Rodwell cleans up for Newcastle nevertheless. Well, that's a bad kick from Elias hitting the, the man. It had to be higher and had to get down the other end of the field. This has given Newcastle reasonable possession in a reasonable situation. Played by Gordon. Kemp is back with us. And uh, to play the ball is Richards. Hagen. Sergeant. Sergeant appealing to the referee that he wants to play the ball. Now it's Hagen. Rodwell. They've got a nice combination going. Well done, Sam Stewart. Tony Kemp down to the 32 and a crossing cover and a crunching tackle from Balmain from Gary Jack. Oh, great tackle, Gary Jack. Australian, former Australian fullback, we all know that. And that's why he has been one of the greatest fullbacks in the past. He crunched Tony Kemp right over the sideline. A beauty. The scrum will go down just outside the Balmain court. Nine minutes to go, Steve Roach. <laughs> Very exciting at the moment, but if there's a better fullback than Gary Jack defensively, you know, I'll give it away. I thought you had. No, not yet, Fatty. <laughs> Matt Munro. St. Gregory's College uh, product. Went to uh, Parramatta. And now to Balmain. Affleck. Balmain. Probably entitled to start shutting it down now. Oh, Masella has made the mistake. Sargent has come up with the ball for Newcastle. They come up in good field position. Brunker across the ground. Third to see him go straight. Richards. No gain yet for Newcastle. They've used two. McCormack. Sam Stewart. Good defence, Balmain. 33 metres out. They haven't gone an inch ahead. Newcastle on three. McCormack for Sargent. 25 metres out on four. Eight minutes to go. One point the difference. Balmain the leaders. Rodwell. Puts out the fend. Twice stands and wrapped up. Well, they've gone five metres on five play. Not good enough from Newcastle. Kicked ahead by Mullane. Jack is looking at it. Hoping that it'll go over the dead ball line. He's forced to clean it up. Can he make the field of play? I don't think so. No, he can't. Yeah, well done, Gary Jack, but Newcastle just devoid of ideas here. They just did nothing with that ball then in six tackles. Absolutely nothing. And they must come up with some better play than that if they want to win this match. Well, I wonder, Peter Sterling, with uh, seven minutes to go, they're going to get the football back. Will they work it into a field goal position? Well, I think they'll try and score off the first five, Ray, but if they are forced to, to have a draw in this game, that's obviously going to be better than dropping the two points. But they st seven minutes still a long time. There's plenty of attacking football to be played in this yet. But while they are down this end of the field, they've got to come up with some sort of points. This is Richards. 11-10, 33rd minute. Well, he's oh, he's knocked on. Well, what a time to come up with a mistake for Newcastle. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, there it is in the play, the ball. Balmain then. Squeezing off the hook there. That was an ideal opportunity for Newcastle to level it up. He got some good goal kickers or some good uh, drop kickers in the in the uh, the field. Rodwell, Hagen, and I'm sure that's the play they would have worked for. Masella picked off there by Mullane, just into Newcastle's area. In alliance. Ed 
Smith. Cross for Jack. Experienced players coming into their own now. Showing the youngsters what we must do. Five gone. Now Ben Elias putting it onto the foot for the grubber kick. Looking for the line and not finding it. Brad Godden, he comes back. Picked up by James Grant. And that's good defence by Grant. Gordon. Still inside their own 22 line, Newcastle. Richards. Hard yards for him. Made them well. What well? Sandwich tackle there by Davis and Athlete. We've gone into the last five minutes now, and that's five runs from Newcastle where only one pass has been thrown. They've got to take a few chances. They've got to move the football around, maybe run it on the last tackle here. Rodwell kicks along the ground for Brunker. Oh, he can't, can't pick it up. It was an opportunity. Turnover rule by McCallum. See it again. He almost gets to it. Probably was entitled to take it. The seller. Time getting away from Newcastle. It probably has, really, since uh, Balmain took the ascendancy into the breeze in the first half. It's when the game started to get away from them. They've been playing uh, catch-up football ever since. That's another replacement player out there for Newcastle, Adam Muir, the 24 jersey, just involved in the tackle. As Ed Men again goes forward. Nothing silly here from Balmain, and a kick at the end of it from either Elias or Basari. Plenty of the more experienced players coming into their own now, uh, Blocker Roach, getting in there, making sure that there's, there's uh, mistake-free football, shutting it down. Yeah, John Elias and Gary Jack especially coming in for a lot of work for Balmain, and uh, this is where we want to play it, right down here on the Newcastle line. Got him. Trying to get away from Grant, unable to do so. Ten metres out from his own line, Gordon sweeps it away, Tony Kemp stands in the tackle, looks to pass. Davis clamps the tackle. Gordon goes away from Dummy Hart, tries to slither his way through inside his own quarterway line. Well, Mulder Hill is playing in the defensive line for Balmain. Would not be surprised if maybe Rodwell drops one over the top with Gordon or Brunker on the fly. Here's McCormack making another one of those darts up the centre. Five tackles gone. Here's Rodwell. Will he use the chip and chase? He decides to use the ball through the hands. Schuster. Now it's Brunker. Beats Basari. Puts the ball down for Hagen. He kicks. It's a dangerous kick, really. Or is it going to be a nice one uh, as it takes a favourable bounce for Newcastle? It's gone the other way for Brescia. He gets the pass away for Grant. Well, couldn't have been a more unfavourable bounce for Newcastle. They had two men there going through. Timmy Brescia had to go across and clean up. And fortunately for Balmain, that could have been tragedy if the ball had it bounced into the hands of the Newcastle player. This is Marcella. Easy as it goes for Balmain now. John Elias. Baisari. Three minutes of time go to go. Baisari tackled on five on the 22. In fact, less than three. It's down to the two-minute mark now. Balmain punch it across the line. A nice and uh, it's going to be... A scrum with Newcastle defeat. A nice Dina. time wasting kick there from Ben Elias. Realises that the clock is certainly on their side. It's taken 20, 30 seconds to set this scrum. Very valuable time. Clock winding down all the time for Belmont. Just up, run around with Hagen. Now they come around from the back. Godden. Brunker puts it down. Chance for Belmont. Ball is loose. Brunker comes away with it, but the referee has willed knock on. And Newcastle really playing some desperate football now. They've got to, I suppose, they're still that point behind. There's little or no time left. And that same play they put on all night, decoys everywhere. It went loose. Brescia had a chance to score a try, but dropped it. But this will be a Balmain feed, and they should close the game down now. There's only 50 seconds remaining in the match. Malva Hill. A little bit of a meal of it, but now Gary Jack. He'll play the ball about 17 metres out from the line and slowly. Athletic. In fact, 40 seconds of time remaining. Ben Elias, to his namesake John, 10 metres out from the line. No worries for Balmain. Just half a minute to go, leading by that slender margin of 11 points to 10.
half-time score, in fact, still there. As ben Elias goes himself, looks to turn it. Player was held out of the play. It'll be a penalty for Balmain, and it is. John Schuster, the guilty man there. and he, Well, he's got 10 minutes in the sin bin, and we've got nine seconds on the clock. That's a tough decision. But they'll kick the goal here, wrap it up, or may even just kick the touch, whatever. The game is well and truly over. There goes the siren. Ben Elias not interested in taking the two points, goes himself. Gary Jack gets a pass away for Clint Robinson. Into touch he goes, and the end of the game. Balmain winning by 11 points to 10. Any win here at Newcastle at Marathon Stadium, you have to work hard for. They've done that tonight, Paul Sheeran, and a quick glimpse of him. He worked hard while he was there. I take it uh, now that his knee is OK, Balmain 11, Newcastle 10. Thank <laughs> you.